Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing an entire invertebrate collection tour. These are all my invertebrates that I have, and I'm going to give, be giving you guys a full tour. Hope you enjoy, please like and subscribe. First we're starting out with my Brachypalma albipolosum. I'm not sure if it's a male or a female yet, um, but I got him yesterday at a reptile expo. There he is, and he has a pretty simple habitat setup as you can see. Next up, we're looking at my vinegaroon, or vinegaroon, and he's in his little cave. Here, I, can kind of poke him out. I usually don't bother him, but you can kind of see him now. Um, there he is. Um, I've had him, I have this cricket in there since yesterday, so yeah, hopefully he'll eat that pretty soon. Usually it takes him a while to um, eat it. Next up are the bumblebee millipedes. This is one of mine. I have two currently, and I hope to get more soon. Here we have my millipedes, as you can see right here. That's an Orthoporus species millipede. I'm pretty sure it's Orthoporus ornatus gold. But um, he's one of my first millipedes. And I also have ivory millipedes in here. You can probably find some. I like to hide in this. Um, I'm not sure if there's a lot in here right now. They like to burrow too. That's the hard thing about them. But yeah, I have three of the ivory millipedes as well. So next up is my H. arizonensis, um, Arizona hairy desert scorpion. There you can see him. He's out of his burrow. Uh, I just put in two um, smooth death veining beetles in here yesterday, too, to free up some space. But they're in there. I think he's a little confused right now. But yeah, that's him. And his setup's pretty um, simple. Looks so like he covered up his water dish that I just put water in. Um, but yeah, those are for the deathwing beetles. And this is the setup. So this guy is rarely out, but in here I have a um, Scolopendra polymorpha um, tiger centipede. So. He's not out right now. He's kind of bur burrowed way under the soil. But yeah, this is his habitat. He's not too big right now. It's not full grown. All right, so right here I have my Chromatopelma cyanopubescens tarantula. You can see him right there. He just molted like yesterday um, or two days ago. And this is his little habitat. He's still a sling, so it's not too big. Alright, so in this enclosure we have another tarantula, and off the top of my head I can't really remember the scientific or common name, but I know, I think it's um like an orange bird eater is the, one of the common names, but here he is, you can kind of see him in there, he's made this big burrow in his enclosure. Alright, so in here we have some predatory beetles that are wild caught from my area, but... I don't know if there's any at the surface, but last night I dropped in a lot of mealworms, like four or five, and I've eight in here, eight of the um, the uh, predatory beetles, and they like to burrow way down in this substrate. You can kind of see like a few little like holes and stuff, but I dropped in four or five mealworms, and they were fighting over them at the top, even if there was another one available. So this here is kind of one of my most random things. It has some millipedes, really small millipedes, and some just random isopods in it. So here you can see some of the isopods. They're just um, Armadillidium vulgare from my area, as you can see. And then I think there's a few little like millipedes in here as well. All right, right here's another wild caught specimen. It's a spider that I actually found in my room. And I've bred it, I've had it since um, it was very, very small. You can kind of see its fangs right there. And now it's a bit bigger. All right, in this little deli cup, I have some Simendoa cave roaches. Um, these are actually extinct in the wild. But these are really nice, and they're from Africa. You can see some of them right there. I will be needing to upgrade these guys pretty soon. But so far, they're not too big. This is their habitat. In this enclosure, we have an emperor scorpion baby. 
You can see him right there. I got him yesterday with my big um, Brachypelma albopolosum. This is his um, habitat. He's just got a little Gatorade cap with um, with some water in it. And yeah, there he is. So this is a type of centipede that I have. I'm not really sure exactly what um, the scientific or common names are because they're from my area. But there's one of them. And there was just a baby. I don't know if you saw it. It was right down there. But yeah, they've been breeding in here, so that's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to try to go pretty quick through these isopods because I have a lot. But these are Procellionidas floria. You can see some of them there. I have a ton of these guys. These here are Procellio scaber orange dalmatian isopods. And these are pure white ones that I kept. And the rest are just normal. I have a lot of these guys as well, as you can see. And they're one of my favorite isopods to keep. And here we have Trichorania tomentosa isopods. And you can kind of see one right there. It's a really small one. And there's a lot more in here, kind of hidden. This is one of my most active isopod bins. It is Procellidonidus pruniosus. And you can see there's a ton of them in here. And they're one of my favorites because they're really fast breeding and they're really cool looking too. So right here we have Procellio Levis with the marble gene. And there you can you can see a little baby right running around. And there's a lot more in here too. But yeah. Those guys are pretty cool. Now these are one of my favorite isopods, Armadillidium granulatum. There's a lot in here. These actually started took a while to start to breed, but after they started to breed, they reproduced very quick. These are one of my favorite isopods from Europe, and they have these awesome green markings on their back. Right here we have Armadillidium maculatum, or the zebra isopods. There you can see them. There's one right there, and there's another right there. I have a, quite a few in here. Actually, I only have like eight, <laughs> but... Hopefully these guys will start breeding for me pretty soon, because they're one of my favorites so far. In these two bins are the food for my animals. I will be showing you guys these in a second. In here is the cup that the mealworms come in. Here's where I separate the pupa. Um, I know that you're supposed to really keep them separate, but I kind of keep them all in the same spot. And here is where the beetles will end up. So you can kind of see a beetle there, and I know there's a few. There's one, there's one, and there's quite a few just around the place. And here we have some um, B. lateralis roaches. I'm not sure if we'll see too many of them, because my colony's not doing too good right now. But, oh, there's one. But there's quite a few in here, I think. I'm um, just kind of hiding around. Thanks everyone for watching, and I uh, hope you will subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you in the next one.